friends, happy day 24 of haul vlog. Uh, for those who are celebrating Christmas, today is Christmas Eve. Um, we're going to talk about some other observances in a second. Um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Jesse. This is Miss Laid Pages, and my pronouns are she and they. And we're here for coffee and chocolate and opening tiny gifts and um, and talking about whatever springs to mind. So. <laughs> Uh, that's what we're here for. I was going to, because it's Friday, I was going to uh, bring in the things that I have stitched on this week, um, but I didn't really do that. So probably this will just be hollow vlog, and if I um, am able to do so, I'll post a separate floss tube later. Um, I'm working on a couple of things, and um, and I, I don't know where I will end up. <laughs> I'm still I'm still trying to get to my whip inventory because we're getting towards the end of the year and I need to get all my whips together and figure out what they are and where they are. Um, I realized I have a whip I don't think ever made it to my list and I need to decide if I'm going to keep keep it as a whip or if I'm going to retire it and uh, various other things. But uh, I need to prepare not only for the year-end whip parade but also for um, I need to make my new Whipco boards <laughs> for 2022 and we're quickly running out of days. <laughs> <laughs> very very quickly running out of days I'm not ready y'all I am not ready it still feels like it's 2020 I am not ready for 2022 I don't I, I don't even know how this much time has passed uh, but anyway anyway where was I going with that so um, yeah happy Friday <laughs> uh, I apologize if I'm a little all over the place I am tired I haven't been sleeping well the last few days and uh, my brain, I think, is starting to show it. Um, but yeah, so we'll do hollow vlog now. Uh, I won't. I won't do the whole long floss tube thing because I just I am not prepared. I am not prepared. Um, but we'll talk about what we talk about, and we'll open tiny gifts, and and then maybe I'll see you again later today. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so what else is December 24th? What else is being observed December 24th? Well, we know it's Christmas Eve, or at least um, those who are familiar with Christmas know it's Christmas Eve. It is also the Feast of the Seven Fishes, which I believe is a Christian observance, but I am not 100% positive, not familiar with it personally. Um, National Chocolate Candy Day, not mad at that one. Um, and also National Eggnog Day, which I'm a little sad about because I do not have any eggnog for eggnog day tried to get eggnog yesterday. <sighs> so I think I mentioned, um, I think I mentioned in the last haul of vlog, yesterday's haul of vlog, um, that I had gone to Target and Target was like mostly empty. Like there were tons of people there, but I don't know what they were buying. Um, and that it seems to be like, it's, it's almost like everybody has waited until the last minute to go to any kind of store. Um, I don't know what people are buying. I personally am just trying to buy normal things. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not Christmas shopping. I'm just like when I went to Target, um, technically I guess I was Christmas shopping. I was trying to get candy to go into some like favors for some friends, like little candy bags. Um, and I couldn't find candy. <laughs> and then I, I went to my local mom and pop grocery store and I usually go there if I'm just getting one or two things because it's small and it's easy to get into and out of and it I have never seen so many people in that grocery store the parking lot was completely full complete I've never in the decades I have lived in this little town I have never seen that grocery store that packed so I went in there anyway and I tried to get some eggnog they didn't have it's not even that they were out of stock like they never had eggnog I was like really really so it became one of these things where I braved that crowd, um, which, you know, it really is braving it these days, right? You know, even with the, with the vaccines and the boosts and the masks and everything, it's still, it still can be challenging to go and do normal things. And so, you know, I went ahead and braved the crowds and then it was completely fruitless. And I don't know what about that is so upsetting to me, but there's something very upsetting about that. So that was the feeling I left, uh, I, I was left with after the Target run and the feeling I was left with yesterday, even though it was just a, a small grocery store. And I just felt so exhausted and so defeated. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. I don't even know what's going on with my brain. So anyway, uh, the plan is not to go to any kind of store or probably not even out of the house for the next several days. Cause I'm just, I'm over 
people. <laughs> I think I have no tolerance anymore. Like I had built up a certain level of tolerance because I had to deal with people on a regular basis. But after nearly two years of, of um, staying mostly at home with just mostly me and Adam, I don't know how to people anymore. Like in small select groups, I'm fine. But when I have to go be out and among people, like large, mm -mm, it doesn't work for me anymore. Not, not okay with it. So anyway, digression. So the whole point of that is I don't have any eggnog and I'm sad. <laughs> Which I will, I will count myself blessed that that's the thing I have to be sad about today. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I suppose I could try making eggnog, but I saw a guy make like a super old recipe of eggnog on um, a video somebody shared on Instagram. And that looks that looks way more complicated than I want to deal with. And there's raw egg whites in it. And maybe, I don't think that's, I don't think that's for me. We'll stick to hot chocolate and currently I'm drinking Kahlua coffee, um, which is really good. <laughs> it tastes quite good. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Um, I hope that if you are interested in, in observing um, National Eggnog Day that you have eggnog already. <laughs> Uh, so shall we get into it? Shall we open all of our... This is the last day for some of these. Um, I'm not that sad about this one. <laughs> I'm going to look really hard for something a little bit more... Um, a little bit more different next year. Um, so we have day 24. Let's see. Oh, it might be a caribou. It looks like maybe a caribou label. Let's see. It is a caribou. It's reindeer blend. Cheery and decadent dark roast coffee. Okay, so that's a very seasonal blend. I like that. And I've never tried it, so that's good. So they're ending on a strong note. That's nice. Um, but yeah, next year, I think I'm going to go for ground coffee instead of uh, K-cups next year um, for a variety of reasons. Um, one of which being better for the environment, obviously, but also I just want, I want to try new things. But this is new at least. So Christmas Day, I will get to have reindeer blend, which sounds a little weird. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's all good. And just so y'all know, because this is completely just cardboard at this point, um, this can go right in the recycling, which is nice. This, I think, has some plastic in it. So I may, yeah, this one I'll have to take apart, but even so. So also the last day of our advent chocolates. Um, I did look for more chocolates and couldn't find any advent chocolates. And um, it's way too late for me to to try to order online anything. That's, I just, the days got away from me. I probably could have tried to get something different. But So this is our last piece of chocolate too. I'm really hoping it's one of those orange. It's either something completely brand new, which it probably isn't, or it's one of the orange dark chocolates because I really love those. Let's see. Is that, I don't think that's the orange dark chocolate. It is one of the big stars, but this is this is the bourbon vanilla, which we already uh, discussed uh, is not bourbon like the liquor, but is a type of vanilla. So, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, I remember this one still begun. I think there were only like I think this is only the second one of these, um, but I'm gonna save that for after filming. I'll have that in a few minutes. Um, maybe I will try to make or find some treats for the next few days. We'll see. We shall see. But that's the end of two different advent calendars, y'all. No more coffee. No more chocolate. I mean, I'll still have coffee. <laughs> we'll still have coffee for a couple more days. I just won't be able to to um, fuss about my Keurig coffee <laughs> the next couple more days. <laughs> Okay, let's see what Stitchy Box has in store for us today. So, once again, for the second to last time, this is my Stitchy Box 2021 Christmas Bash Box. So, this is today and this is tomorrow. I'm pretty sure that's a chart. <laughs> Um, but for day 24, this could also be a chart. I mean, it's flat and it's kind of cardboardy. Let's see. Ooh. 
It's a, it is a chart. <laughs> Frony Ritter Designs, or Frony, Frony. Tiny Mitten Sets 2. So there's a series of these. And I think there's four designs in that. Those are cute. I especially love this little gingerbread person. I love the shading in there. So this is all four of them. They really are tiny. Oh my gosh. 22 by 26 stitches. So, you know, if I wanted to, I could save this for Season of Smalls for next year. And I could make tiny, tiny winter presents for people. Um, because those are, those are itty bitties. Those are tinies. Those are not even smalls. They're tinies. Um, super cute, though. Wine charms stitched on 18 count perforated paper. Oh, okay. So these were done up as wine charms. I don't actually have a lot of friends that drink wine. I mean, I, I, I would probably do them as ornaments is what I would do. Or something like that. They're super cute, though. It makes me want to look for the other, the other ones in the series. Oh, and it's also got the charting for the little tags. I don't know if you can see those, but it, there's like sweet and joy and um, baby. <laughs> yeah, that says baby. Okay. <laughs> so it gives you a um, little tag. Um, it gives you charts for little tags that say baby, joy, merry, sweet, nice, and love. I'm... I guess for baby's first Christmas, I guess that's what the baby is for. That one caught me off guard. <laughs> but those are cute. I like those. Okay, so that's our stitchy box for today. And now we have Winter and Stars Hollow. We do get a Christmas Day one of these because I, I ordered the, the uh, full skein to go along with it. So we will have one more to open for that. Um, but we have our second to last the penultimate. This is the last mini. Let's see what we've got. Ooh. Very pretty. We got purple and pink and really dark navy blue. Very nice. Uh, so this is Knit or Go Home. <laughs> <laughs> Season 7, Episode 9. This must be when they were um, knitting for the, um, what was it, the old Muddy Water Bridge. Um, and they had the whole, like, festival where everybody was going to sit and knit. It was a knitting marathon to raise money to repair the bridge. And then Christopher comes along, because this is when Lorelai and Christopher were married briefly, uh, comes along and he donates all of the money and then everybody's very confused because now there's no need for a marathon because he donated all the money they needed and it, yeah, it made everybody very confused. Um, so yeah, that one I remember. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'm really curious to see what the large skein is going to be um, because that, uh, I don't know how you coordinate the large skein with the rest of them. So we'll have to see how that goes. Okay. And last for today, and unfortunately last for this box also. I'm so sad to see this box end. But look how gorgeous they are. They're so gorgeous. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to go in somewhere where I can look at it all the time. Because it's gorgeous until I start knitting with it. So let's see. Can you see in there? Mm -hmm. There we go. That looks like it's going to be a nice color. I think I'm going to like it. I just have to fish it. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty... It's so pretty. Look at the purple. So pretty. Gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. And that's going to that's gonna marry really well. I love how she did this fade because it's really thoughtful. So there's actually a little tiny bit of this purple in the first pink that we opened. So it ties it all together. So if I were doing some kind of infinity thing or if I wrapped the colors back around on each other, it would totally work. Which also means I could actually start my, I could start my fade at any point and continue on and it would be fantastic. So that's really, really gorgeous. Love it. So this color is called crystal ball that is very swirly and magical I love it 
Love it, love it. So I'm sad that we're done opening these, but I am so very happy with this rainbow fade. It is gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. So that is over the rainbow from Asylum Fibers, Stephanie at Asylum Fibers. And she did a fantastic job. Um, if you saw, um, I didn't oh, I didn't get her advent as a, as a count. I didn't get the, um, I didn't get it as a countdown box last year. I purchased it um, as a final finish thing sometime in January or February um, of this year. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I put it in a video once I received it. Um, and if you saw that, those were gorgeous colors too. They were, um, it was rainbow also, but it wasn't intended to be like a rainbow fade. It was more like cosmic jewel tone rainbow. And oh my gosh, those were gorgeous as well. Um, and I got those in the, the sparkle sock as well, which is why I had gotten the, the sparkly this year. And I'm very, very happy with it. She has a gorgeous sense for, um, or a fantastic sense for rainbows and fitting those colors together. So I'm very, very happy with that. Quite, quite happy. So, okay, folks, that's all I have for today on Christmas Eve. If you are celebrating Christmas, I hope that you have a very gentle holiday. Um, I hope you're having the best day that is available to you and that the holidays treat you kindly. Um, if you're spending time with family, I hope you enjoy and that, um, well, hopefully, <laughs> I was going to say, some folks are spending time with family whether they want to or not. So um, I hope that your time with your family is as gentle as possible um, and that you get out of it what you want and what you need. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be spending a little bit of time with friends this evening. Uh, we are doing a very low-key um, COVID conscious <laughs> um, dinner together, a small small dinner together um so i'm looking forward to that um and then tomorrow it will be just me and adam and my brother um because unfortunately adam is working tonight um but it will be just the three of us tomorrow on christmas day and we'll do our normal family tradition of watching movies together which i'm very excited about so that's what i have planned hopefully at some point in all of that there will be some additional videos for you i'll definitely at least get hollow vlog up tomorrow um I don't know what else is in store, um, but I wanted to make sure that I got this for you. So anyway, <laughs> let me stop rambling and let you go so that you can enjoy whatever traditions you are um, you are observing today. Um, I had wanted to do some videos of like baking cookies and stuff, but I have just not been in in a baking mood. So um, normally we would make um, chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies today um in preparation for santa that was when that was when santa still came to the house which has been many many years but <laughs> it used to be our family tradition it's funny because uh my mom and i we never made made cookies like we never made cookies from scratch um our tradition in my household was to buy the tubes of cookies <laughs> from the grocery store and we'd throw them in the freezer because if you show the, throw the sugar cookie dough and the cookie, uh, the chocolate chip cookie dough into the freezer, you can cut it up more easily. Um, and I think that I've also realized that um, you get the, the texture that I prefer out of the cookies when you bake them because the center doesn't bake as quickly um, when the cookie is, when the dough is frozen. So I'm gonna have to try that. I haven't done it um, in quite a while. The last couple times I've baked cookies that way, um, I have just had them in the fridge and uh, the cookies get a little bit more crunchy than I like. I like a chewy cookie. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, our tradition was tube of cookies <laughs> that you bake in the oven. <laughs> and then as I got older, I started baking snickerdoodles and molasses cookies from scratch, but I haven't done that in ages either. Um, so I don't know, maybe there will be some cookies later. We'll see. Um, I do have some chocolate chip cookie dough in the, in the fridge, so I can totally do that. <laughs> anyway, let me let you go. Have the best day that's available to you and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye.